In this daily drop, we're going to talk about how to take your small grip equipment and modify it so that you can protect exterior surfaces from those little claws. So let's go. The saying goes, leave your location better than the way you found your location or something like that. And I have taken that to heart in production for pretty much my entire career. When you show up somewhere, especially if you are renting a location like somebody's home or you're at a sound stage, you want to make sure that anything that you're doing to rig your equipment is not going to mar or create marks on anything that you're clamping to. And we're using a lot of small grip equipment nowadays. This is a mini Mathalini clamp from Matthews. This is a little clamp and sort of built-in ball mount system with a quarter 20 from Ulanzi. And then for years and years, besides those mini Mathalini clamps, I've also been using these little nano clamps, these small clamps that you can use and you can rig them out. I've got one here that's going to a stud and then that's going to a ball mount and then they have a baby pin on there so they're just part of my rotation of equipment and especially when i'm in a small to no crew situation but the problem with most of that grip equipment is even though there may be something on the inside of the clamp that's helping protect the surface there's usually an all metal design or a hard plastic design with these. This one, the mini Mathalini clamp, it has this textured inside. But if you're putting that on a, you know, a wooden bookcase, it could create a mark. The Ulanzi one, hard plastic, they have a little bit of soft rubber on the inside. But if you're grabbing on the edges here, there's no way that that's not making a mark on certain things. And I'm not talking about C stands, I'm talking about wood and other types of surfaces. And these nano clamps are all metal as well. So if you're not doing something to them, even though they have this textured surface inside of it, it's going to create a mark. So one solution that I've been using for many years now is this, which is industrial strength Velcro. It comes in different lengths. It comes in different widths. This particular box is black Velcro. It's 15 feet long. It's two inches wide. And if you have this box or you get this in white because you want to use white instead, it's going to last for a long time. And it's just a great product for this application. Why do I like it? Well, it is water resistant. It has really good holding power and not holding power to hold equipment up. You could use it for that. It's also great when you're rigging things like receivers on cameras and stuff like that, but it's just easy to apply and it just works. So you've got two parts of Velcro, which you probably know. You've got the hook and then you've got the loop. And we want to use the loop side. That's the soft part. The hook part could actually mar um, surfaces as well. And then what you do is you get a good pair of scissors and you're going to measure out the surfaces of your various clamps. So you've got your different clamps right here and you're just going to go ahead and measure those out. You're going to cut your pieces to size right here and then you're going to apply those to the surfaces of your clamps. So it should essentially look like this. You obviously take off the backing, which I'm going to do in a few minutes, but it's a little tricky sometimes. And what I like to do is when I'm doing this, I like it to overhang just a little bit over the edges to make sure that we're not getting any metal contact from that. And then you would, of course, do that on the other side of your clamp as well so that you're doing it on both sides. And usually you just measure for one side and then you cut the other piece to the same side. And then I'm doing the same thing for something like this. I've got two pieces here that I have measured out and I'm going to apply to this. And then I've also found a couple of clamps that have lost their way. It's just worn down. I've used these so much here. So I've actually taken the Velcro off of one side already and I'm going to take it off the other side here. Sometimes it takes a little work and you might need a little bit of rubbing alcohol to just clean it off. But now I'm ready and I can just take new pieces here and I can apply those here. Again, letting them hang over the edges a little. So this is just going to 
protect all of those exterior surfaces. This is a great solution for protecting things like wooden shelves and tables and stuff like that. Industrial strength Velcro. I'll put links to stuff below. And don't forget to, and to, and I'll see you on the next episode of The Daily Drop.